Welcome to the Fox One Corp series of training videos. I'm Dave Springford. Visit me online at www.foxonecorp.com for your glider supplies. In this video, part two of how to set up weather layers on your LX9000 device, I want to take a look at the LXNav Connect web page. So we get there by going to cs.lxnav.com. CS is short for cloud services. So cs.lxnav.com, and then we can log in. You have to have your device paired and your profile paired, and we can see that on this Profiles tab here. We can see the various profiles that have been paired between the device. So we have the device type and the serial number. So once those have been paired, following the instructions on screen on your device, we can create an account. When we go into Services, we can see the various services that are connected to that device. So for example, we have rain radar, and we can see no sign-in is required. That comes direct from LXNav with no subscription required. If you have a SkySight or a Top Medio account, then you have to add a service to add either of those accounts. To do that, you'll click on the Add Services button, and then you'll select the one you want. Since I already have a SkySight, I'll select the Top Medio here, and we can see we now have a tile for Top Medio, and we'd put in our username and our password, and we'd click Login. That would now connect your LXNav Connect account with your Top Medio account, and then your LX Connect is paired to your 9000, so everything would flow through. I don't have a Top Medio account, so I'm just going to close this, and we will delete that service. We have our SkySight account set up here. You can see I also have a Dropbox account, so I can load airspace files, waypoint files, profiles into my Dropbox and have them connected to the LX9000 to download everything. So once we have all this set up, the next thing is to look at how can we display on the 9000 itself different weather layers. To do that, we can use LX Styler. And so in the part one of the video, what I showed you was on the device itself how to turn layers on. The problem is when you turn a layer on, it ends up going onto every page, all of your nav pages. And we don't necessarily want that. So what we want potentially is to put radar on one page, satellite on another page, and sky site on a third page. And so what I'm going to do is I've already created one page here. I duplicated my first page, and I've now put it third in the list on the airport page. So I'm just going to double click on this page and we can see that on this screen, I have a weather info box. And that weather info box is going to show us what weather layer is currently being displayed on that page and the time of that weather layer. In this picture of a real LX9000 device, you can see we have a sky sight layer. In the weather info box, you can see the time of the forecast, and in the top right, corner of the screen, we can see the time of day showing a basic match. The second picture shows it's now a little bit later in the day, and we have a new updated sky site buoyancy shear and thermal updraft velocity layer loaded. So how do I set that up? So let's go ahead and create a new page and step through how we would set up a weather forecast. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this on the task page. So first, I'm going to copy my task page, so I'll right click and I'll say copy page style. And then I'm going to right click again and I'm going to say paste page. So now we can see that I have two identical pages. And so what I want to do is on this second page, I want to put a sky site layer. So I'll double click on that page and now I can start editing the layout for this page. If I click once, on the screen and I get the blue bounding box around the entire display, that's where I want to be to start selecting my weather layers. I'm going to click on this arrow beside forecast, open that up, and the first thing I'm going to do is select the service. And so what service do I want? I want to use SkySight. What layer do I wish to display on the screen? So in this case we can select any of the layers that are provided by SkySight. So I'm going to scroll through the list, and I'm going to find my thermal strength 
and buoyancy shear is the layer that I wish to display. Now, history span, forecast time, and freeze present frame are things that we want to set. So I'm going to start with forecast time. When I'm looking at the sky site, I don't want to see a future forecast or a past forecast. I want to see what sky site has right now. So I'm going to set that to zero. So it's going to show me the current forecast for the time of day. And with that set to zero, I'm going to set the history and the span to zero as well. Once I've done those, the freeze present frame box doesn't matter because it's only going to show one picture at a time. It's not going to display them. Another important thing is up at the top, use map settings for current page only. Yes. If I change this to no, then it will overwrite all the pages with the same thing. With all of this set, there's one more thing that I need to add, or I want to add, and in this case, it's a graphics box describing what is the layer that's on the screen. And so I'm going to go here to data. We'll open that up. I happen to know it's in miscellaneous to get the weather information, but we can also just search for it and type in weather, and it's this weather info box that I want. So I'm going to select that. So there's the weather info box on the screen. I'm going to drag it to uh, a location. And I'm going to resize it. Because as you can see, there's a fair bit of information in that box. And the other thing I'm going to do, so it doesn't have to be as large as it is, is change some of the font sizes. So down here, the title font for weather info, I'm going to make that as small as possible. I'll set that to a number 10 font. And then the font for the actual data in the box, I'm going to reduce that down to, uh, let's start with 20. That looks like a reasonable size. And so now I can shrink this box down just a little bit and center it on the screen. So now in flight, it will always have the time and the name of the forecast that's up. So we know whether we're looking at a current forecast or an old forecast. So I think that's a fairly important thing to have on the screen. And so now what we'll do is we'll apply those changes. And we can see our new page here with that weather information box. So I'm going to copy this page again. And then I'm going to paste the page again. This one I want below the sky site, so I'm just going to grab it with the left mouse button and drag it down here and drop it between the next two. So now we're back on a regular page. Click on the entire box. And this one, I want to put rain on. So I'm going to open up the rain and the rain radar. I'm going to say yes to having that enabled. The service and the layer are already done by default. And then history and span. I'm going to leave those at one hour. I want to see one hour's worth of information, and it's going to go uh, forward one hour in time with this plus one forecast. Freeze present frame, we're going to leave that at uh, 10 seconds. That means that the current times radar is now locked on the screen for 10 seconds, where all the other time loops just flip through in about one second. So we can always tell what is the current time by the pause of the loop on the screen. And so again, it might be worthwhile on this one, adding our weather box. Like I said, you can go to miscellaneous and weather info. And again, I'm gonna drag that down to the bottom and I wanna resize it a bit so I have more information in it. Set that to 10 again. And we'll set the font to 20. And then finally, press apply to save all those changes. What we'd like to add is satellite. So I'm going to go over here to this radar page that we just created. And we're going to right click on it, copy that page. And then we're going to right click again. And we're going to paste that page. We can see that we now have one, two, three weather pages. And this is a copy of the radar page. So we'll double click our third radar page to make it into a satellite. We'll click again on the map to get the blue bounding box around the entire screen. And to modify this, we'll want to turn rain off. 
So go here and say no to rain. And then we'll open up the satellite option. And the first thing we have to do is select a service. So we're going to select our SkySight service with satellite. And with satellite like rain radar, we want to see some sort of animation. So we're going to keep a history span of one hour. And we have our forecast time of plus one. We have our freeze present frame set to 10 seconds so we know which part of the radar is current time loop. So it's as easy as that to add a satellite. So now we can't forget to click apply and save all those changes. So I hope you've learned something new about your LX flight computer today. Visit me online at www.fox1corp.com and subscribe to this Fox1Corp YouTube channel for more videos.